What's up Hoopers? It's Coach Alex with yet another video and today we're going to be talking about a couple of tips to help you shoot better from that line, the three point line. Let's get started. All right, so like I said, we're working with the three point line today and I just want to give you three different tips to help you become a better shooter from the three point line and some things that you should think about when shooting the ball from deep. All right, so this three point line, I know it's attractive to a lot of young players. You run into the gym and the first thing you want to do is just shoot a three point shot. I get it, I've been there, but you have to understand you have to be able to build on your game. Starting close, build that foundation, and work your way out to the three point line. So if you're out there now and you're working on it, here's a couple of things to get you started. Now, since you're a little further out, you know, a lot of people will send in you know, comments on YouTube and say, Coach Alex, what can I do? I'm shooting the ball short. I'm shooting air balls from the three point line. Well, it's probably because you don't have enough power, enough momentum and strength into your shot. And where does that come from? It comes from your bottom half. It comes from your legs. You've got to be able to get some power underneath your shot to get the ball there. Because if I'm shooting out here and I'm using no legs, I got to use all my arms, which is putting more pressure on me. I'm not going to be very accurate. I may shoot the ball short. I may shoot it too far. I might shoot an air ball, and we don't want that. But we want to add our legs into that jumper. So I want to be able to come into it. Even if I'm just standing here with no dribble, no pass coming to me, if I'm just here with the ball, I can still be able to go from here, get my legs underneath, boom, and get that shot off, right? And be able to get the ball to the basket regardless if I haven't used the dribble or if I haven't received the pass, but just to be able to stand here, let's see if I can knock one down, to be able to stand here, jump up, boom, and knock it in, right? If you could do that, but you have to start with your legs. If you can get your legs underneath you, you're gonna get power, you're gonna get momentum underneath your shot. It's gonna help you get the ball to the rim, right? So that's the first tip that I'm gonna give you. I just wanna show you just a couple of angles on what I'm talking about, getting your legs involved with your shot. So you're gonna see that knee bend, the fluidity in the jumper to be able to make your shot smooth from the three-point line, which is very important and crucial if you're trying to become a better three-point shooter. So the first tip, use your legs, get the ball to the basket. All right, so moving on to tip number two, we're gonna be talking about being squared to the basket. And I'm not just talking about your feet because a lot of players, they don't feel comfortable making sure that their feet are totally in line and squared up to the basket because they feel like it may cause too much tension, tension and you're not relaxed when shooting the basketball. Because for a player like me, I like to, when I catch and shoot, my feet are a little slanted, a little tilted, not even face towards the basket, but I still get my shoulder squared up to the hoop, right? So think about it like this. If I'm facing here on towards the sideline and the hoop is there, so my shoulders are here, but the hoop is there, how accurate is this shot? You know, I'm not lined up, I'm not squared to the rim, but if I can get my, my shoulders squared, regardless of where my feet are, right? I mean, I'm not telling you I'm like this on my tilt, it's just a slight tilt, but it allows that tension to be off of my shoulder. So when I shoot the basketball, I'm just loose. I'm right up, I'm lined up with my target, which is very important. You have to think about that. So we talked about getting your legs underneath. Now make sure you're squared to the basket, even if you are coming off of a screen. Maybe you're coming off the screen at the top, boom, I square my shoulders. I rip that ball through, boom, I catch, I turn, and I shoot. You'll see the best shooters in the NBA. I always mention them, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, two of the best shooters in NBA history. Every time they shoot the basket, no matter where, every time they shoot the basketball, no matter where they are on the court, if they're running off screens, coming off in transition, pick and rolls, they find a way, boom, to make sure that their shoulders are squared to the hoop before they even fire the basketball, okay? So make sure you got that down. Make sure your shoulders are squared to give you the most accurate shot possible when shooting the basketball, all right? So that's step number two, getting your shoulders squared. Don't worry so much about your feet. If you're a guy or a girl who likes to shoot the basketball with a tilt, that's fine. Or if you like to have your feet dead center to that rim, go for it. Whatever makes you most comfortable in shooting the basketball is most important. All right, so I just want to show you a couple angles of shooting number one squared to the basket and coming off the screen, but getting your shoulders turned and squared to the rim to give you the best chance possible. Check those out real quick at full speed. We'll come back for tip number three.
All right, so the final tip for this video, we're gonna be talking about your rhythm, whether you're shooting off the dribble or off of the catch from a teammate off the pass that you received and how important rhythm is into your shot because this allows you to get yourself squared. It allows you to get your legs underneath you because you've gotten your rhythm into the entirety of your shot. So if a teammate's passing you the ball, boom, you can come off, catch, shoot it, bang. If you want to use your dribble, you're coming off a screen, coming in transition. Either one, that helps as well. Um, the guy, if you watched the NBA Finals last year, Kevin Durant, who hit a big shot in game three, comes down, rhythms up, boom, off the dribble, shot, bang, hits another one. Okay, so if you use those two methods to come off of a screen, get your catch, or to use your dribble into a rhythm shot, that helps you with your jumper, especially anywhere on the court, really, three-point line, mid-range, close range, whatever it may be. But if you're able to get a rhythm into your shot, it's gonna help you. Why? Because you've got the rhythm. Again, like I said, you can incorporate your legs. You can incorporate getting your body squared to the basket and it forces you to use all of them, which is gonna help you become a better shooter, all right? So I just wanna show you what that looks like in full speed. This is the final tip again. We talked about using our legs, talked about being squared to the basket and now putting a rhythm into your jumper helps you all out, all three will help you become a better three-point shooter and it'll help you knock down more shots consistently. So again, this was talking about rhythm. Let me show you a couple different angles in full speed and what I'm talking about so you can work on it as well. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope these tips were helpful for you to become a better three-point shooter. If they were, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and anything else that you would like to see down the road. But most importantly, click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball and check out all the great content that we have to offer on our channel. Now, it's your turn to get out there, work on your three-point shooting. So hit the gym, hit the court, put that work in so you can become a better constant three-point shooter. All right, it's important to be able to do that. You wanna be consistent from the three-point line if you wanna be a sharpshooter, just like guys like I mentioned, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry. Takes time, takes work, but you can do it. And remember to always keep hooping.